Good morning, Rockfish Church. How's everybody? Good? Man, a lot of people must be on vacation. Or either they heard we had the expo and they're watching online, one or two. But welcome. If it's your first time with us today, just make yourself at home. Grab something to drink. Um, just relax. It, it, it does look a little bit different today because we are doing our expo. And um, the expo is just a, a chance for us to be able to show everybody what we have to offer as far as ministries, um, you know, outreaches and all that different stuff. So I'll explain that a little bit in detail as we go along today. So today's service will be a little bit different. Um, I'll just, I got a lot of announcements to give you and a lot of information to share with you. Uh, we're going to keep the kids in for right now. We will release them at the end of uh, me speaking. And then we'll release to go out to the, uh, the tables to learn about the ministries that we have. So let's pray and uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your presence, Lord. Your presence during this time of worship as we lifted our voices to you. Lord, I pray that you would just fill this place today. Lord, as we come here to to learn how to get involved, to learn what we need to do to advance your kingdom. I pray, Lord, you would touch each and every one of our hearts and minds and speak to us and tell us exactly what you want each one of us to do for your kingdom. Lord, to help bring the lost to you, Father. That is our heart. Be with us this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. So, a real exciting thing that we have launched here at Rockfish Church called Gatherings. So like this weekend, the people that watch online really were disconnected from the expo because we had no way of, uh, you know, really connecting them with that information. Well, what the Gatherings is now, what we have launched is the opportunity for people that are not able to get to the church or that live in different states that want to still be a part of Rockfish Church, they can do what we call gatherings. We have all the information for them. We're, we train them. They start at a, as like a small group. And then hopefully it may morph into something bigger. You know, we have been planting churches in different places. And oh, praise God, today in the Philippines, 141 People at our Philippines location this morning, guys, that is phenomenal. With under a year's time, we've went from zero to 141 people. Can we give God some glory for that? You know, the gatherings are, are uh, an awesome way for, especially our military, when they PCS and go somewhere else, you know, they can start a gathering. And what that means is they actually watch the service online. They have all the information that they need to, to uh, actually hold a small service there. So if you want more information about that, you can watch the Rayford uh, service uh, anytime after today because right after I get done speaking and we go into the foyer, there, there's going to be a, about a 20-minute uh, segue of explanations for the gatherings. And also, if you want to write this down, uh, you can go to Rockfish Church Gatherings, rfcgatherings.com, and all the information is on there. And matter of fact, this is cool, in uh, Gettysburg, we've already been doing it for about two months. Is that correct? So it's already launched, it's already happening, and we, we just want to give people the mechanism to be able to share the gospel. So, um, I already talked about that, let me move on. Quick announcement about the men's retreat and the women's retreat. If you want to get connected to that, you can go online and sign up at rockfishchurch.com. The men's retreat is August the 18th through the 19th. That'll be at Camp Rockfish. We'll be back out there this year. And the, the ladies' retreat, retreat will be at Camp Dixie, which was where the men were last year, September 15th through the 16th. Men, go ahead and sign up. Registration is open. It's 80 bucks. It's been there for the last four or five years probably. We, we haven't had to go up. Um, and women, 
for you, you ladies, registration to open up in the next couple of weeks. And guys, what's so good about the men's retreat and the women's retreat is it's an opportunity for all of us from the three different uh, locations to be able to come together and fellowship. So the people at Anderson Creek, Rayford, and here at Aberdeen all get to meet at one place and just, just a time to um, get to know each other a little bit more and, and just spend some time fellowshipping and, and hearing about Jesus. As always, if you need a scholarship, just let us know. And also, if you want to sponsor someone, let us know about that as well. The last announcement I have is um, talking about text messaging because the FCC has changed the rules and regulations on uh, corporations and businesses dis dis bombarding you with text messages. Um, so if you have been receiving those texts from Rockfish Church through the Ram out app, you do have to opt in to continue to receive them. So you can text start to the number on your screen, all right? Or if you are one of the members and you receive an um, a email, you should have received the email last Tuesday, okay? And all you would have to do is click on that email and it'll walk you through the process. So that's very important if you still want to receive the information through those two ways. So let's start, let's get back to this month's sermon series. And it was entitled, A Field of Ministry. The first four weeks, uh, we talked about the seed the soil, the sower, and the shepherd and his sheep. So this gave us the opportunity to have a new perspective on the uh, ministry field. And if you missed any of those four sermons, you can always go back and because they're, they're on, online at rockfishchurch.com, as always. You can watch each one of those and uh, kind of get caught up. So all four of those factors were preparing us and leading us up to the harvest. No big surprise, right? So we spent that month uh, building up and preparing for that harvest. You know, we do the expo two times a year, right? And it gives each one of you the opportunity to, to get involved. It gives each one of you the opportunity to start doing kingdom work. So we know that everybody is, is called to use their talents to advance the kingdom. And that's what we're trying to do today is give each one of you the opportunity to go and see what we have to offer and say, hey, this is where God wants me. This is how God wants to use me. You know, there's a, a chapter in a place in the Old Testament, uh, Nehemiah chapter 3. So you may not have ever read that. Write that down and go in there and, and, and look at that. Nehemiah chapter 3. That entire chapter uh, points out how dozens and dozens, maybe even hundreds of men, all work together for one cause. And in doing so, they were receiving God's credit in his word. Even some of them even have their names written in his word because of the services that they were doing. And we know the more people that get involved, the more people that help, it's, it's less stress on everyone else. So in Matthew 9, 35 through 38, it says, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. And it goes on to say, Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. So that's what we're told to do, is to ask the Lord of the har harvest. And I can tell you, as the leadership of Rockfish Church, we have done that. We have asked Lord to send helpers to help us get the word of God out. And so we even go and take that a step further by intentionally inviting you guys to be able to get involved and, and showing you what opportunities we have. You know, 
When you get involved in a ministry, you get involved in doing God's work, you receive the reward for that. Your salvation is not in your works. Your salvation only comes from Jesus. But it is our job to tell others about the gospel. It is our job to feed the homeless. It is our job to uh, reach as many people as we can. That's what we're called to do. So today, it is dedicated to that. Here's a bunch of opportunities that we have. A lot of our ministries that, that we have to offer, um, everything from guest services, you know, uh, the people that greet you when you walk in the door, that hand you the information package, um, all the way to Sam that helps run the coffee shop out there. Each one of these ministries has a, a special group of people in there. You know, here at Rockfish, if you have a child, just check this out. So we have a, a platform to where they can start in nursery and be involved in something all the way up until they're age 18. That is a pretty amazing thing. You take them from nursery to the kids' ministry, then they can get involved in uh, AHG, which is American Heritage Girls, or the guys can get involved in trail life, and then once they age that, they go to Rockfish Students. And then by the time they get too old for Rockfish students, they're grown. And then they can start serving in adult ministries. So everything is set up for a, a purpose and an easy pathway to help bring the kids up in a, in a godly uh, manner. So in just a few minutes, uh, Mr. Mark's going to come out up, and he's going to re release the kids. And once he releases the kids, uh, kind of let them get out. And then, um, and then if we would, we can mosey out to the foyer to, to go ahead and start the expo. And what we'll do is we'll run the expo until about 11.45. And then at that time, if you haven't already pick up, picked your kids up, you can, you can do so. And please, use this time also as fellowship. Just to maybe, maybe get to know somebody that you've, you haven't ever met before. Before we release the kids, though, I just want to take an opportunity to thank everyone that's already a volunteer. We cannot do what we do day in and day out without those of you that's already stepped up, that's already accepted your position into a ministry. So I just want to say thank you guys for that. You know, I could stand, I could stand up here and tell you so many things that... Guys and, and, and women just take so much of their time to, to do to make this thing called church work on a Sunday. Worship team, they get here. What time y'all get here? We're here about around 8.45. They get here at 8.45 in the morning, go through their set and everything. And it's not that they're trying to, to be these great uh, entertainers. Is that they're trying to get things right so they're not a distraction. So it's a lot of time poured into it. Uh, Sam, probably, Sam probably gets here about 6 o'clock. Wayne probably gets here probably about 4.30. <laughs> so uh, it, just, it just takes a, a lot to do. And uh, we as, as leadership just want to thank you guys because a lot of times we don't get to thank you enough. So we really, really, really appreciate it. If you are not, guys, already in one of the mission fields, I, I encourage you to do so. It, it, it not only advances the kingdom, but it, it, it gives you a, a sense of um, involvement. And it's, it's very fulfilling. It's fulfilling to me anyway. So at this time, uh, Mr. Mark is going to come up, and we're going to release the kids, and then we will go straight into the expo. All right?